Welcome and thanks for joining us today. As a value added component distributor, Electronica offers our customers the design resources to build their solution. Our optimized designs helps our customer reduce their design build time, risk free development and quick turn from prototype to production build. Today, we are introducing our battery management design enablement kit for 14 series 48 volt solution. This design is based on NXP BMS IC MC33771 and Autograde 32-bit microcontroller FS32K. The AFE performs ADC data collection on cell voltages, current, temperature, as well as battery column counting measurement data. Transmits the information to our NXP FS32K using one of the microcontroller interfaces SPI or Transformer Physical Layer TPL. MC33771 and S32K combined with scalable design function made it our ideal choice. We find no close competition near to this measurement accuracy with such high speed and performance. To share a few best functions of this BMS IC, chip internally offer onboard 300 mA passive cell balancing with diagnostics and hot plug capability. It detects internal and external faults, be it open lines, short or leakages with very high precision and accuracy. Device is automotive qualified with, with AECQ100 and support ISO 26262 up to ASILD safety standards. Scalable design gives comfort to engineers planning on 4 cells to 96 cells. All these makes NXP the ideal device choice for BMS application development. Today, we will explain on our EV BMS solution enablement kit design specific for 14 cell 48 volt system, addressing for two wheeler and three wheeler EV customers and battery pack manufacturer. We will demonstrate the solution now. This is our battery management solution for 14 series 48 volt system design main control card, which is for evaluation. We have MC33771C analog front end chip and S32 NXP microcontroller 32 bit MCU. This terminal connects all the 14 cells through this. Then we have the 6 thermistor of the temperature connectivity and one temperature on board. So the 6 NTC sensors gets connected here. We have enabled CAN terminal here. We can connect USB TTL or Bluetooth module from this terminal. We have the manual override switch where customer can use master control. This buzzer is for indicating fault alarm triggers. This is a configurable audio option on board. We have the DC to DC power section at this side. This connector end terminal is to attach power card. The MOSFET power card or relay power card gets connected over the same terminal connector here. We are connecting the power cord to our main control card with this end terminal here. In this MOSFET power cord, we have implemented both charging and discharging channels. Terminals are provided to connect your charging and discharging cables. Here, we have all the power section. Capability on this reference design made to 200 amp, but the design is scalable, so possible to downgrade or upgrade. We also have the FET power card for lower current in similar infrastructure with lesser MOSFET. This is another power card called as Relay Power Card. This is to enable 300 amp design achieved by using Electronica Relay Module. The connector being the same for customer can alter their design by swapping the power cards and keep the common main control card. Connector being identical on both, customer gets the freedom of design on common main control card. Relay card can also be scaled to higher current rating even at 350 amp current handling. Refer here, we are providing similar charging and discharging cables. Our 14 cell emulator is for customers to simulate battery working of charging and discharging. Your 14 series is connected as 14 sliders. Slide them to attain the battery charging and discharging data. Main control card can be connected with end terminal here. Slide the voltages to simulate the voltages data. This is another enablement kit to connect physical 40 numbers of 18650 battery as real-time batteries attached here, 7 battery cells in the front, 7 on the back side. All the 14 cells of 18650 battery pack data comes live. Voltage, current and temperature data is collected. This terminal goes to our AFE IC and then to GUI data plotting. We have considered 18650 as this is the standard size of most common lithium or NMC batteries available in market. Customer batteries can be connected quick and performance data can be captured for cell data and software build. Connecting our main control card with the thermistor for temperature data collection, six temperature sensors are external cabled and goes to attach on the battery pack. Seventh sensor is on board NTC. All seven datas connect to our AFE and displayed on the GUI. Wireless data via Bluetooth module is connected here. BLE module is connected via this terminal provided here. 
Bluetooth module pushes data to mobile and can be used for Bluetooth demonstration of cell performance or on vehicle diagnostics data to cluster and VCU. On the same terminal connectivity to TTL output via USB is enabled. The engineering team used for PC Connect and review data in GUI. Demonstrating a battery management design enablement kit, a 14 series 48 volt solution connected to our GUI. Complete battery stack voltage is demonstrated here as 50.4 volts. Then the fault data and history is provided here. Also, load connection data can be reviewed here. Complete power of the load and all fault history date are displayed for the 14 cells pack which get connected to the AFE main card. Displaying individual voltage data of all the 7 battery and 7 temperature sensors data plotted here. Temperature sensors data from the board denoted as PCB temperature. Other 6 external temperature NTC data is captured in this column. Options given to configure the design needs by feeding cell under voltage, over voltage or complete pack over voltage, under voltage and current date with temperature trigger date. This can be configured as trigger from by editing. Customer can choose their own design parameters to set functional response. Demonstrating here, one of the cells get disconnected. As we disconnected, the cell refer C11 data is denoted as zero or dead cell on GUI. Now, by connecting the battery as hot plug, we can see the data come live with high speed NXP AFE plotting it. In this demo, we will show connecting a 14 cell emulator data plotting. Why is emulator connected to main card and data via USB TTL and connects to GUI? Data displayed as collected from the emulator pack. Date displayed as collected from the emulator pack. Emulation set all switch at lowest indicating cell are at level of 1.2 volt. Setting can be configured as 0 or 1.2 volt as per customer wish. Voltage similarly can be configured for higher side. In this demo, we have kept as 3.6 volts. That also can be edited to any voltage level as per customer requirements. Showing you here the live data simulation when the sliders are worked in random. You can see the voltages at GUI changing as all slides are moved random by changing individual data and stack data. Triggers for fault can be set and simulated using this tool for testing the software.